text highlights were so absolutely well received by all of our customers that we decided to add in some more. Let me show them to you and a couple of more things as well. Hi everyone, it's Tony and well, I don't know about you, but over here, everyone is gearing up for next year. We are preparing a lot of things that I think you're going to be very excited about, but we still have a couple of more weeks left in 2023. There's a few more videos that I wanna share with you, some of them highly requested, so make sure to subscribe to our channel if you still haven't done so. Now, one of the biggest highlights of this year, which by the way, there's a highlights video coming soon where I'm gonna be sharing some really exciting things one more reason to subscribe right there. But in my opinion, one of the biggest highlights this year has been text highlights. They are so easy to implement and so easy to customize. And I even did a video showing you how they can really help you make your headlines stand out. And well, we've added in even more designs for you to use. Uh, let me just show them to you really quick. There are now over 20 different text highlights that you can pick from and of course you can customize how often they repeat, when they repeat, whether you wanna have them loop or not, and whether you want them to show up over or underneath your text element. There is something about the contour sketch one that just has me absolutely obsessed. There's one more Thrive Architect feature that I wanna show you. Copying and pasting styles across different elements of the same kind is now a real thing. And this has been a highly requested feature because you can now save a lot of time by styling your content boxes, your background sections, your columns, so that they follow the same styling in just a couple of clicks. Just check this out really quick. I have a content box with a maximum width of 500 pixels on desktop and a maximum width of 280 pixels on mobile. It also features rounded corners and a background color. Now, you see how there's three little dots that you can click on on the top right edge of this container? This allows me to copy the style of this content box. And if I drag and drop a new content box and I hit those three dots again, I can have it use the style that I just copied from the previous container. And you can see how it even carried over settings for mobile devices as well. Really, really, really cool stuff that is hopefully going to help you build and design sections much faster. In Thrive Apprentice users, you need to see this. Have you ever thought, oh, I wish there was a way of only letting users proceed on to the next lesson if they've actually watched the entire video in one of my lessons? Well, this functionality is here for you to use starting today. And what's really cool is that you can tell Thrive Apprentice to let users proceed onto the next lesson if they've watched, say, 50% of the video or 100% of the video. And if you're about to drop in a comment saying, well, Tony, can't users simply skip to the end of the video and be done with it? Well, no, 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 because we actually look at the duration of your video and track how long users have spent on your lesson. So even if they try to be sneaky by only watching the last minute of the video, that's not gonna work. Now, can they potentially speaking, leave the player on and go make themselves some enchiladas? I mean, I guess so, we haven't quite cracked that one yet, but why sign up for your course in the first place if they're just gonna do that? Let me know down in the comment section below which of these updates you're planning on using. They're available for Thrive Suite users starting today. And if you still don't have a license for Thrive Suite, you can click the link in the description box to grab one today at the best possible price. Truly appreciate your time and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.